happy Friday. I just got back from college. I don't have classes on Friday, but I had to hand an assignment today, so that was why I was in. And I went food shopping afterwards. I just went into Aldi to pick up a few bits. And look what I got. Da, 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 da. It's just a cutting board, nothing special really. But I had wanted an A3 one for ages. And my dad told me months ago that there were some in Aldi for only a fiver, so I was like, that's great. And then I went the next day to pick one up and they were all sold out, which sucked. But today I was just queuing up in the checkout and I saw one there. And it was reduced to two euros, so that was awesome. I think I got the last one. So I am home now and I am absolutely starving. I skipped breakfast, so I'm obviously hungry now. It's about half one, it's lunchtime. So I'm just gonna get some food. So when I went to open the curtains this morning in the kitchen, the whole curtain set, the curtain pole, everything just fell down on top of me. There's like nothing up there now. And the curtain is just sitting on the table here, waiting for me to put it up. watching one of my favourite shows from when I was a kid. Did anybody watch this if you were a kid in the 90s? Is it familiar? The Demon Headmaster. I used to love that show, but it creeped me out so, so much. He was just so scary. I always used to imagine that he was like my head teacher. And my head teacher was scary enough when I was a kid anyway. But yeah, I used to imagine she had his eyes. So scary. Anyways, I have finally got some food. This is what I'm eating. And it is so good. Creepy. Sorry. Pretty creepy show. I loved it. I don't know if it'll, I haven't seen it since I was a kid, but we'll see if it's as good as it was. It's probably not, but we'll see. So I've just finished watching that episode of The Demon Headmaster. And it was creepy. He was still creepy. He just wasn't as creepy as I remember him being. Which makes sense seeing as I'm about 17 years older than I was the last time than the last time I saw it. I mean, I'm still scared easily. I'm just not scared that easily anymore. I don't know. It was still a good show though. I mean, it was still better than most of the kids shows that are around today. So I'm about to make some white chocolate chip cookies. They were supposed to be white chocolate macadamia nut cookies, but I couldn't find any macadamia nuts anywhere. I don't know where you get them. I tried looking in like Tesco's or Dunn's, you know, the kind of grocery food shops, but I couldn't find any. Maybe I should have looked in like Holland and Barrett or a health food shop or something like that. But anyways, I couldn't find them, so they're going to have to be just white chocolate chips and hopefully they turn out good. Fingers crossed. I'm not usually very good at making cookies. They're usually, mm, I usually leave them in the oven too long. That's what I usually do. They're usually in there too long and they go hard and they're not chewy and nice, really. So hopefully I'll do it this time and hopefully it'll turn out right. Let's see. Um,
then my attempts at making cookies has ended in disaster. My first batch looked like this. They kind of look like weird pancakey cake cookie things. They don't look like what they're supposed to anyway. So after they come out of the oven, I went to looked back at the recipe and I saw that I'd only put in half of the flour that you're supposed to. So that was definitely an issue there. But then for the second batch, I went to put more flour in and they turned out like this. Not as bad as the first batch, but they still don't look at all like they do in picture. So I am working on an assignment right now. It's an assignment for the ISTD. Gotta be careful how I say that. I don't wanna drop the I. Um, it's a project where I have to design a book or a magazine that is highly typographical. And it can be based on absolutely anything in the world. I get to choose the theme. And that is kind of the issue that I'm having with this. Well, it's not an issue that I'm having because I have chosen my theme. But the thing is, the theme has to be very to the point. It has to be completely narrowed down. There can't be any room for maneuver or anything within your design or your content. But this is how I'm working it so far. Just got a load of brainstorms going on. I'm trying to narrow it down a little bit and maybe figure out a target audience for the book or magazine, whatever it's going to be. So yeah, that's how I'm going to be spending my evening. So seeing as my cookies were a complete fail, I'm going to have this lemon bar that I made yesterday and these did turn out good. So I'm going to have a lemon bar and a cup of tea and then I'm going to go to bed because it is getting a little late. I am going to end the vlog here now, so thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.